I'm here at North Korea's nuclear test site at Pungeiri, a place that foreign journalists have never been allowed before. And we are here, the North Korean government says, to witness the destruction of this site. They say it will never be able to be used again. With each powerful explosion, the earth shakes. We travel around 15 hours to get here, first by bus through the coastal city of Wonsan. Compartment 7, here we are. Then some 12 hours by train. This is one of those moments where you blink and realize I'm having dinner on a train going through North Korea. A luxury ride by North Korean standards. They just came through and they closed all the blinds and told us that for the entire train ride, we can't film anything out the windows. We pull into Pungeiri Station, then begin the nearly two hour drive to the test site. Once again, no filming along the way. We passed through a number of what looked like small farming villages. There was no sign of life, completely empty, except for the handful of soldiers at the guard post along the way. We get a briefing from the deputy director of North Korea's Nuclear Weapons Institute. He won't tell us his name. Then we're allowed to inspect the tunnels. North Korea says they could have easily conducted more nuclear tests here. They say two tunnels have never been used. So they say by rigging it with explosives and blowing it up, that's a meaningful step towards denuclearization. No nuclear weapons experts in our small group, only journalists. It's actually quite beautiful here. The North Koreans say that the ecosystem hasn't been damaged by all of these nuclear tests for more than a decade. They say no radiation has seeped out. Journalists aren't allowed to carry radiation detectors ourselves. They were taken away at the airport, so we have to take their word for it. The dismantling of the nuclear test ground conducted with high level of transparency has clearly attested once again to the proactive and peace-loving efforts of the government of the DPRK. You really do get the sense that you're witnessing history here, which is why we're documenting every single building on this site, because by the end of the day, it'll all be gone. We hike to an observation post built just for us and watch Pongeri go up in smoke. Will Ripley, CNN, at the Pongeri nuclear test site, North Korea.